Alright guys, we're back. Break Room Blitz. I'm DeAnthony. <laughs> my boy Don and my boy Conch yeah. here. So we just stayed up all night uh, to watch Walking Dead Season 7 Episode 4. What are you doing to me? We're in four episodes now. It's called Service. Episode 4, Service. Yes. So I feel like Negan has been giving service to Rick's mouth. Oh man, he's been serving it up. <laughs> you just got served, Rick. Yeah. Full bat worth. Yeah. Uh, hold, hold my bat. <laughs> right, hold so, my purse. <laughs> uh, pretty much, when it gets good, we start off with Negan showing up at the gate at right. the, uh, what's the name of the place? Alexandria. 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 And he's like, knock, knock, knock. 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 Yeah. And he's a week, or or he's earlier. He was supposed days to go early. Yeah, days he, early. I won't, I won't lie. Yeah. When you text me, yeah, they need to shoot him through the fence. I was like, oh my god, they told us you did that, dude. <laughs> I mean, totally. Okay, they have all the guns, and I, I mean, I don't know if they have the place surrounded. It didn't seem like it. it looked like they just walked in through the through the front door. And the only reason I thought that they probably were not gonna like have to kill any of them, like you know, through the gate, was because maybe they have Daryl off, you know, at whatever city they're at, right? But they brought Daryl with him, so I'm like, okay, shoot him. Well, they don't they don't know they have Daryl until after they open up the gate. Right. So you know, so I I kind of like the episode. I like how it starts off because the last episode was just really filler. So now we get back to the actual meat. We get Negan. We get yeah. Rick. Yeah. We get the rest of the crew as far as what they're gonna do in Alexandria. What is the preparation like? Mm -hmm. Yeah. People, do people want to leave? Do people want to stay? What's going on? So now right. we get a viewpoint. Yeah. So nigga comes in. He's like, you going to open up the door? You going to make me ask twice? Right. I'm like, dang. Yeah, right. like, this is about to go down. Yeah. Right. And Rick comes, and Rick is just like, uh... He's a week. He's like, <laughs> early. Yeah. He's like, come right. on in. And I know you wanted to take half our stuff, so I set it off to the side. Here's half. He's like, no, no, no. I'll take what I consider being half. Right. And half is taking all your guns. I'm gonna take all your bed mattresses. I'm gonna take all your medicine. So man, Carl. so Carl is gets into a conflict with one of the guys. I love that. He does a shot. I love that. Shoots, she shoots once. Say you know, if I shoot again, I'm not gonna miss. I'm right. shooting you in the head. Do you think that Negan takes away the guns if that doesn't happen? Oh, uh, he, he'll take. Oh, them I mean, yeah, no, he would have taken them. Yeah, I mean, hands down, he would have taken all the guns. Yeah. yeah, and and the fact that you know, I think it kind of like you know they kind of you know took it upon themselves. They they kind of screwed themselves in the sense of having an inventory list of all the guns. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, hey, I know what all the guns are. Oh, really? Let me take a look at it. Oh, you just made my life easier. Yep, we're missing two handguns. Bring them over. And yeah. Even with the sniper rifle. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. Uh, it just kind of killed the whole episode. It was. It was just filler, and the only appreciation that I got out of the episode was the fact that Negan was becoming like more stone faced, like more killer. Like I, like he heard that gunshot go on, uh, the gun, the gunshot, and he was like looking at Rick, like, "All right, we're gonna go handle this right now." Yeah, you know, and problem. and and I thought that you know somebody's gonna have to die now. Mm -hmm. Nope, move on. So let's go collect all the guns. And I thought that they were gonna kill the chick keeping inventory. Nope, move along. Well, let's, nothing. Let's build it. Let's let's talk about it a little bit. Let's, let's kill some characters. Let's <laughs> Game of Thrones is a thing. Let's uh, come on. Well, I think that you're getting a lot of character build. Like I did enjoy the episode because of the character build. Like you're getting more in depth, a little bit more in depth on Negan. And you know the thing is like, it's a love hate relationship with me because I like the way he's acting. I like I like the guy the way that he's presenting his characters. Like oh yeah, you know just like that whole feel of it. But then that 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 just like you know white to black. He's just like. He's, he's, he's fine, I'm good, and then all of a sudden he's like... Yeah. And then it's just like that cold. You see, right. it's in him. And you see why people fear him. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't so see why just... people... Honestly, I mean, again, that's where I grew up. Someone <laughs> looking like that, doing all this animated stuff. People who are most animated yeah. are the ones we don't need to fear. Yeah. You run your mouth... Right. I'm, you you a little punk. So I hear you so, barking, little doggy. Right. But do you bite? But I'm, <laughs> so I'm, almost, I'm almost getting... Over it, I he's am. doing a little bit. Oh. oh, he's doing a little bit too much. And that's why I felt like if he didn't actually kill somebody in this episode, like mm -hmm. really dramatically again, it was gonna kill it for me, and it killed it for me. Cause mm -hmm. I, I mean, we're falling. 
Well, look at where we started this season, yeah. and look at where we're going. There was yeah. no, the, yeah, and that's so what happened. There, there was no, there was no peak to this episode. I mean, Carl was probably the only peak on this episode, and that's not saying and much. It's not, it's not because like I <laughs> he didn't even shoot him. No, like no. I mean, it would have been one thing if, if they would have walked in and Carl like capped a guy on the face, like just done. Like if they would have did that, I'd have been like, right. oh yeah, Carl. He said, right. Carl's looking at his dad like, are you serious? Yeah, right yeah. Now? yeah. Like, do you see? Oh, really? You a punk? And you holding this bat <laughs> to kill our <laughs> homie Glenn? You ain't my Daddy, and you, you were gonna cut off my arm. Like, no, like, and I'm really, like I said, I hope Carl, I hope this is a season for Carl to come out of the, the he, he's got the visual appearance now. He's got the, he's got the anger, he's got the anger, he's got the, the, the how, how to on this whole thing, like the whole cut off arm thing. Like, he's like, just do it, just do it, just cut off the arm. I'll, I'll get something else. Yeah, what, what I did like about what we got from the movie. So, we got, you know, how broken Rick is. He's, yeah. he's, very, he's a broken he's man. Scared. He's scared. He's freaking, but he's not like but, broke to like a slave broke. Yeah, right. But he's he's just scared enough to not do what he, he needs to he do. He doesn't yeah. want to lose any more of his people. And, 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 and that's the only good thing about this episode that I have to say. The only good scene was towards the end when he was going to get the sniper rifle from Michonne. And she's like, are you holding his bat? And like, you know, they had that confrontation. She's yeah. like, I can't lose anyone else, man. I can't lose anyone, yeah. you know? And then she she had, like, you know, they had a really good scene, you know? She was like, I know what you mean, you know? Yeah. I, I see where you're coming from. And, like, he talked about his little baby and his, his you know, how, you know, they brought up Shane finally for, yeah. like, you know, he was, like, not even talked about for a while. And how that's yeah, like that. They, they start bringing up the good old days. Yeah. Right. And the show right. was awesome. Yeah. Like, yeah, Shane. I like that. I like those episodes. Because <laughs> right, right. yeah. this one that they gave me was very lackluster. Um, I, I, I really, it, it gave me some good things. It gave me some good parts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there, like you said, there was no actual uh, climax. climax. Yeah. There, there was nothing. You know, yeah. there was nothing like, oh my gosh, this just happened right now? It was right. like, oh, I watched The Walking Dead a whole hour and a half. And and all they did no, was watch the talking dude. Like, oh. <laughs> and I guess all the no preview, emotion. It was mild. Yeah. Did you see the go see the preview for next week too? Like um, the, the next week, Carl's bouncing up again. He's like Michonne's like passive aggressive, and he's like, you know, this is stupid. You know, this is wrong. And I'm like, I, all I'm saying is, I'm, I'm hoping for. I said it twice already. Carl, get in the game. Okay, so basically, anything that they do to have any type of action, just a little bit, is gonna m make any episode. Everybody's gonna love it. Yeah. Because they haven't done anything for a couple episodes already. So anything they give us, everybody's gonna Oh best episode of the season so far. I I think the people like the pace. I think that a lot of people did not like the first episode. And they like this peaceful uh Armageddon type of show. And I don't understand it because because that's what I get when I when I go online I'm saying, what are people saying about this? What are the actual fans saying? What are they tweeting? They're tweeting positive stuff. I'm like, are you serious right now? I'm not on that page right now. Everybody's turning over docile, and, and I, I get that, you know, you got to tread softly so that you don't kill your whole entire, like, family, basically. They're, they're, they're a family in this new post-apocalyptic world, and I get you have to tread lightly, but I, I don't need these, like, little, like, tiptoeing episodes, you know? And I don't know. I, I compared to so many other seasons that they've given us, this one is just taking a downward. I thought like this one is on par with the previous two seasons. It's it's. it's all I don't know up. what happens. It's all build up after season there. four, mm -hmm. but it's just they give you one good one, and they all just go down from there. And then the half of the season ends, and then they give you a good one, yeah. and it goes down from there. And I don't like it, but. I am trying to pick out things that I did like, you know, are some contrasts, yeah. you know, like the, uh, the, okay, so I loved how the priest, I was just about to I say that, say the priest. <laughs> I was going to say the priest, he's like, uh, where's that girl at, uh, what's her name, oh, it was a shame, what, what happened to her, right, and he's like, oh, do you want to give your respects, yeah, and I'm like, oh, she did died, she died, she died, yeah. like, what, I, died. honestly, I was like, what, yes, another one, so that was Maggie, Maggie, yeah, so Maggie. everybody thinks that Maggie is dying, but, I mean, obviously, you know, we find out that, uh, that was just a fake grave, now, and he's like, I'm glad that I had to, you know, bury, like, a, a fake grave, another reason why I don't like the episode, is because you give away all the guns, right, he says, you know what, and Rick is like, you, we gotta give him all the guns, that's, you got a gun, let's go ahead and give it to him, right. what are you doing with that gun, but do you think, I think that the same outcome is going to happen when he finds out that Maggie is still alive. So if you would have found out that someone had a gun, right. the same thing was gonna, is going to happen that now they're going to find out they have Maggie. Either way, you lied to me. Uh, like <laughs> him. Yeah. You, you, you lied to Negan, and that's a betrayal. 
Correct. So we might as well just fight, man. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, Keep a so, couple guns, and you know, I, you know, Rick is definitely the way, the way he's acting. Like I, I hate like in parallel. I just could get a good toss in there. But Game of Thrones, he, he's pulling a freaking Eddard where he's just doing. The, he's not playing the board right, and he's right. and I get it. He doesn't want to lose him, but he's over emotional. Much like Daryl was in the episode. Daryl is just lost right now. He doesn't know what to do. Who I mean, he is he's just he's dead inside. But then you can't be the leader. Uh, no, well, you know what? I mean, in Gabriel you know what? too, you know. I'm sorry, just to bring yeah. the priest in again. Yeah. That part where he's like, he's also, you know, what's the plan? He's kind of telling Rick, like, we're going to be fine. We're going to, we're going to rise up against it. And it's funny because this character has been the character I've been wanting to die. And this episode, I'm like, even he has hope, Rick. Like, <sighs> <Man. laughs> I'm, no, I'm like, it, ah. all, all the strong, all the strong characters. We got Daryl. I mean, you know, I. Physically, Daryl's a broken man. Oh, yeah. he, he showed up and he had two black eyes. He was puffy and he looked beat to hell wearing just like his own filth. I mean, he hasn't taken a shower in like months. I don't know how long it's been. Um, He's definitely out of it. Did you see when uh, they've been feeding Negan him dog pointed food. the gun at him? Right. Yeah. And he's just like, man, get the fuck out of my way. I know. Like, he just like, I'm not even, I'm not even, I'm not even here. I'm just going to just go through the motions because right. I have to. Yeah. Like, but I really don't really know what's going on. That would be a fa- like, that would be a relief if like, Basically, I mean, thinking about where Daryl's head is, if he were to get killed, you know, at this point, whatever, you know, he's just like, kill me. I don't whatever. think he wants to die, but I'm just going to get through this no matter what happens. I'm going to get through it. And I'm mm-hmm. not going to let a gun point in my face affect me. I'm not going to let people tell me what my name is affect me. Right. I'm just going to get through this because it's going to end one day. I feel like that's where his mind is. It's like, get through it, get through it, get through it. Right, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I did like that. like how he didn't break at the end. He was like, yeah. well... If uh, if Daryl can convince me, right, I'll let him go. Mm-hmm. And Daryl's like, Shh. nope, I, I, I don't. Cause, J- just say the word because that's you gonna know? be him yeah. breaking, right? Yeah. And I'm not gonna break. Whatever happens, I'm getting through this. Yeah. Right. Unless Rick takes my hand and say, "Let's go," I'm just gonna get through it. I'm not gonna yeah. be growling on the floor to go with them. I'm not gonna be scared of certain things. I'm just gonna get through it. So I did like that part, but I did not like. For sure, at the very end, when Rick is trying to act all hard with that other guy for holding the guns. Oh, yeah. He was like, say that again, and I'll kill you. I'll, 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 I'll you punch your, yeah, I'll yeah, punch all your teeth out. Yeah, I'm like, your really, out. Rick? Yeah. Well, there, there's flashes of Rick, though. Like, so that's the thing, too, is we've known Rick as he's progressed. In the beginning, he was trying to figure shit out. He took lead because he, they, they, people just put him at that point. And then it got to the point where it was an easy, and he had to get hard at one point, and now he's almost becoming Negan, because Negan has that switch immediately. So it, it's different, though. Rick has the, I'm scared, but then he has those moments where he's just he's clenching on the bat, he wants to do it, and then he stops. Yeah, but to so, me, but that's a shadow. It's out of his character to be... So a real man stands up no matter what. So all that's of a, a sudden, since you know you can beat him up, now you're going to be all a bully? Well, let, let, let me let me take a step back. I, I don't mean, like that. I mean, I mean he, he, you're putting Rick in, like, this situation where he has to think about, like, everybody. like really good. And, I mean, if he has his own people, like, you know, thinking that he, he's not a, a leader and actually insulting him. Like, this this dude that actually insulted him, he wasn't even there to see the, his friends die, and he's been with Glenn forever. Mm-hmm. So I'm glad that he even said, you know... Say anything again, I'll punch your teeth out. Yeah. If, you, if you don't think I will, then yeah. you've never been beat up by... That's not you know, how... When, when, when you're a leader, no matter who challenges you, your people need to see that you're going to set up to the challenge. If you are... I'm one of your subordinates, you're always down my throat, but then when the big boss, Negan, comes with Lucille, you're on your knees opening up your mouth wide for his... Uh, Dingling, then what I, I don't respect you. There's no way I respect you. I can't wait till something happens to you because how you treat me, but then you don't want to do the same thing to him. Yeah. And that's how that's how but that's pride. work. But that's how pride gets everyone killed. Well see that's the thing too, is like just to kinda of put you in the box. Just to put you in the box. You're Rick, your son is is trolling around, your son's Carl. And you realize one action, if you do not complete that action, if you pop Negan in the head with that bat and yeah. he's still alive because that's all you got, your son's dead. Your decision triggers that. But now you're dead to your son. Totally. But at the same time, everyone's still alive. I mean, there's going to be time to redeem yourself. There's, there's a point where a leader needs to understand, okay, look, this just happened. So you are, start, are, are you saying that he's doing the right thing? He, he's I'm losing the battle, right now, but he's going to win the war, is like what I have to think. I, I always think of chess, and I always bring this shit up. 
there's some times where I'm looking at a board and instead of just making a move out of out of no, I need to block this. I need to do. That. I I wait. Let me look at the board real quick. And I do. So spend you think my he's time. playing chess? Um, that's what I'm saying. As he me, has as a leader, given up. They are in charge. I'm not the leader no I more. I think he's just as lost as some other characters well, are, and he's trying to figure because he doesn't know what to do right now. He's scared. He just lost family, and and he's he's in fear. That of doesn't mean he'd be a bully to someone. So so let, let me uh, let me it bring in bring right, in some like. Right. Uh, let me bring in some hope. Uh, what I'm hoping to have happen is that so far we have Negan. He's kind of the top dog. He's top of the food chain. And then we have these other cities. Alexandra, we have Ezekiel's tribe with the knights, and, the and then we have uh, the hilltop, right? Mm -hmm. So we got three cities. You think that three cities can't overtake the king? No, not... Um, no, because the heel, they're already submissive. They have no backbones. They don't even count. So all we really have is Nick's, Nick, Rick's tight group and mm -hmm. some other people they might have trained, which are not soldiers. And then we have the knights. The knights already know they're not really. They don't want to take that risk because they, they don't have the the numbers that the actual that Negan yeah. does. Mm -hmm. So no, not especially that they don't come together, um, and they're too far apart and they're too broken right now to really come together. So I don't think that they can overthrow them at the moment. I think that. Especially not without guns now. We don't have any guns. Yeah. Well, that's why Daryl comes in, because Daryl right now is the wild card. And if Daryl just mm. sticks it out, so is then, he, then he knows everything. And Maggie, she's like playing a kind of like low-key role. I mean, she could be over at the hilltop trying to rally that hilltop, you know, rally the troops. Hey, man, you know what? I came over to you like halfway dead. I got a baby. I just saw my husband get his brains bashed in. Can you come help us out? Because, you know... We're about to like rally up. I'm gonna go fight. If you're not with me, then you're gonna watch me get killed. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, it's only been three days. Maybe four. Maybe five. Because we know it's not a week. So, and you're not gonna rally. I don't. She just had a, a miscarriage. I don't think that she's rallying anyone right now. Maybe later on, and on episode ten, because it's not gonna be any episodes after this. Because we only have yeah. four more. Yeah. All I'm saying is, if I don't see that tiger tear someone's face off, I'm gonna be <laughs> so mad. Oh, you'll get it. <laughs> I mean, according to the comics, because I was, you know, relating in the comic series, um, they also did something that I, I, I thought they were going to do, because the thing is, and maybe they're going to do it in another encounter, but the thing is, in the comics, Carl ends up sneaking into one of Negan's trucks and going back with him. And this was the episode to do it. So I'm really curious where the story is going to go now, because, um, you know, you have Maggie, she's a wild card to me. The reason yeah. why is because she's got the best motive out of everybody. Her husband's dead. She saw him die. Rick's broken. Someone else has got to rise up. So I'm, I'm honestly hoping to God it is Carl. Because Rick kind of needs to be put in the margin now. And I feel Car the, the comics are about Carl. And you, like you said, Daryl's another wild card. Mm -hmm. that's, that's another hope. So I feel Derek's going to be their in. Maggie's going to be the surprise. And Carl's going to be the front line. And if they can, they can work that story a little bit more and give it a little more of a push... Yeah. Then I, I I can enjoy this enjoy this season a little bit more. What do you think is going to happen? So my hope my my hope my because the thing is once again my, like I stopped at the comics to the point where like this is all going on, um, so I started picking them up again. But the thing is, I'm hoping Carl also gets in. I hope I hope they do the whole thing where he goes over to Negan and Negan likes him. That's that's what happens in the comics. I'm hoping that Daryl ends up being that underground, like he gets in with the team, he does what he has to do, he strengthens up again, he, he ends up getting his Daryl mentality back, and Maggie, I want her to be the one to fucking cut his throat. I now, want... what I'm asking is, when do you think it's going to happen? Can I expect this? I'm hoping by with... By episode 8? I'm honestly thinking... Are we going to 16? They're, they're going to do it. They're probably going to get it up there. They're probably going to set the borderline like they did last year uh, for the freaking... They're going to set the borderline by the end of the, the, end of the season. This This... Next four or five episodes. How many episodes do we have left? I, four. I think four. Yeah. Four. Yeah. So they're probably gonna maybe trigger off something the next episode with Carl, and then they're gonna bring in the whole Daryl Maggie thing because we still haven't met Maggie and Sasha. We got to go back to to Ezekiel, and mm -hmm. then the final is gonna probably be where Rick, Rick grabs his nuts again mm -hmm. and stuff starts to happen, and we're gonna be left with that that like, are you serious? Like that you slowed me down, and then now you sit there and make me wait. Again. Like, now, what they, if they can do what I feel like the X Men series did, mm -hmm. where a lot of people complained about the first three, but I feel like the last three they summed everything up, and I appreciated more stuff in the first three with the completion of the next three. Yeah. So I'm hoping when they give me all these whack episodes, that episodes seven and eight 
is going to really make me appreciate the other ones. I'm really hoping for that because we've got an hour and a half of nothing. Yeah. yeah. So I'm hoping, I'm, I'm really hoping that. Yeah. Seven and eight, I'm like, okay, I can appreciate those episodes now. I mean, if I take the season for what it is and compare it to quite a few, it's not up there. Well, no, it's definitely, yeah. it's definitely not up there, but we got to have hope here. Yeah, yeah it's pretty whack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do wait all week for that. Yeah. I'm like, an yeah. hour and a half? I, I literally saw, like, the episode, and I was just like, man, this was pretty damn lame. It yeah. was. I know they gotta write. They gotta write it out a certain way. So certain things gotta happen. I get it. I, I, they I, they I, make I, this more of a drama, and yeah. I get that. And I get. I completely get that. But at the same time, it's like you're basing this off of a comic book. Even Marvel's Agents of Shield is based off of an entire comic collaboratively, and they keep on making it interesting. Which, by the way, that Ghost Rider like new season is awesome. Watch that. <laughs> I haven't watched it yet. Oh, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That's pretty dope. But back, back to Walking Dead. Not to try. Right. <laughs> but and that's overall, what I think they're trying to gain female uh, a female audience mm -hmm. because a lot of women don't want to see all that course they don't want to yeah. see someone take it back yeah, and to the mush you know so yeah i can only count I, the I, I mean, amounts I, of women that cried i could care less for that stuff. but i mean just like uh, uh the movement like like okay why am i going through these slow motions like i, I get it okay like daryl's broke i just feel like we can like sum this up but it's just like yeah. elongating this whole process it's just like i don't know meh yeah. But I mean, maybe yeah. we'll, maybe with the next couple of episodes we're gonna have that finally moment and like that's that's one moment I call like in, in some movies and stuff it's like finally like when 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 Negan was talking and then Daryl went bop like I was like it's about damn time like the whole time I'm thinking like someone someone just hit him in the face and Daryl obviously did so I'm hoping for some of those moments in the next couple of episodes where we get that finally something happened and, give me something good I want yeah. a good story I don't want to just be fed some stuff. And then I just got to take it and hope mm -hmm. that it connects the next Sunday. I watch it. You know, I I, yeah. I want to feel like I waited for a purpose. It's yeah. all filler. Yeah, it's all filler. So I'm hoping the setup's <laughs> good, the AMC, because you're 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 lacking. Get it together. I mean, there's some meat and potatoes, but there's a yeah. whole lot of rice, man. There's a whole <laughs> lot of rice going on over here, and I just got a whole bunch of filler. I'm actually about to go eat some rice. So I like rice. <laughs> That's <laughs> not the point. <laughs> This is bad rice. It's like not cooked very well. Oh, it's stale? <laughs> it's stale. It's very stale. Lukewarm. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, that's our review on The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 4. It wasn't really... We're, we're not really liking it. So, AMC, step it up. So, also, let, let us know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, comment. You know, if we sucked, just tell us. You yeah. know, if we made you giggle, let us know so we can keep doing it. Mm -hmm. um, we, we, we def we're new. So, we appreciate any feedback, guys. So. Definitely. All right, I'm DeAnthony. I'm Conch. We're out, baby. Cowbunga, dude. <laughs>